All right, this is a really quick and easy one for the summer. I'm going to take some sinew and a marker, just have it tied off so I can do a circle. And decide where I want to go with this. Let's go like that. You could do any number of things. You could do various things. You could do it like that. You could do it where it's just the center. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and mark it for the center too. I'll decide which one to go with. I think I prefer the first one, the art going across. All right. So once that's done, I'm just going to accordion fold up this line. And you can either use a rubber band or a sinew. Go ahead and tie this off. All right. And for this, go ahead and finish doing the accordion on this side. drop a couple of rubber bands on this just to keep it in place. I'm going to mark this out just a little bit. Let's go like every two inches. This part definitely isn't necessary. You could just the rubber bands on there. This is just going to, uh, hold on, I need to do one more thing. I forgot a part. I'm going to buffer this by, I don't know, three quarters of an inch to an inch here. So that should help keep those two separate. If you only come up to here and then only die up to here. Is it perfect? No. It might leak through, but hopefully it prevents it as much as possible. This, I'm actually just going to kind of roll up simply so that it takes up less space on the dying table. All right, off to die. All right, for this I'll be using Scarlet, New Emerald Green, Sea Glass, Forest Green, and Bright Green. And these are all from Dharma. The Scarlet has been made up as a liquid standard ratio. This will be the Scarlet part, and then we'll do something else over here for the ice dye for the green. So what I'm going to do real quick is actually flip it upside down. Put on some dye on this side with the scarlet and flip it back over because I want to make sure this is covered pretty well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And then add some more of the scarlet. All right, I'm going to come in and do the greens over here, and then we'll come back and add a little more if it needs.
I might add a little more over here. It just kind of depends what it looks like. Otherwise, we'll let it sit. This will melt through. Probably come back, add some soda ash, and melt another small amount of ice through it. I didn't end up putting a second layer of ice on it. It's just the one layer, no extra soda ash or anything. Although I did, it did dawn on me after it started melting that I probably shouldn't have gone with a green that contained turquoise. So we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so my battery died in the middle of the washout, so here we are. Here's the results. Front and back. Now you could come back in with some fabric paint and the corner of a sponge and go in and put a bunch of little seeds, or you could come back in and do the same thing with a thickened black dye and then reprocess it again after sitting there for about 24 hours. I'm going with seedless variety. Ta-da, it's finished. I don't have to put seeds on. Okay, my concern with the turquoise was like that. The turquoise splits out and then you get blue. I was concerned for a bit because it looked like there was going to be literal blue stripes going on and I was gonna have to call it like the uh, the United States watermelon or something with the blue added in there for the red and the white. Yeah, I was ready, but it didn't. There's a tiny little bit here and there. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So overall, there's the watermelon t-shirt. Let me know what you think below. And until next time, thanks for watching.